Hawaii. Dan, you're on the Savage Nation. Go ahead, please. Hey, Mike, a uh, big fan of the show. I just want to uh, advise you to, I wouldn't get your hopes up about uh, your name being taken off of the list, despite uh, Jackie Smith and uh, Gordon Brown being defeated as they should have been. Right. Really because I believe it's something bigger than uh, bigger than the two of those. They're just uh, puppets, I'd say. And, uh, well, who, who do you think in America sent these out-of-context sound bites to England to have me banned from England? Who do you think in America did that? I think you know, but who? I don't want to speculate. No, uh, I want you to. Sp- I'd like you to speculate. This is a First Amendment show. Who did it? I'd, I'd say the people that that hate free speech did it, and it's just uh, it's part of a uh, bigger movement just to demonize people that speak the truth. And uh, it may have something to do with the fact that the UK has been taken over by uh, by Islam, and uh, there's you know they have a voice over there, and uh, they don't like. They have people. a very big voice, and in fact, the terrorists and murderers who are on the list are all Muslim, with rare exceptions. Some of them are Russian skinheads who actually killed people. They didn't just say things. None of them had a radio show, or none of them were in the media. These were actual murderers. So to take a person from the media and put them on a list of banned individuals was incredible. But what's even more incredible is that there was no outcry here in America, which means that anybody could have that happen to them. Don't they understand that? Uh, I don't get that part of it. Well, they don't understand that. Maybe they will when their name is put on a list, but they don't understand and they don't. I don't know what to expect. We're going to make another appeal. And by the way, those of you who have contributed to the Savage Legal Fund, I want to thank you. The lawyer is drawing up new papers, new appeal. We'll see what happens. Let's pray for uh, justice in England. If it does happen, I will I will arrange to go over there. I mean, I can't promise my health is an issue, my energy levels are an issue. If, God willing, my name is removed from that list, uh, I will arrange a 1,000 people to go over maybe by ship or we'll, we'll, we'll book three airplanes. We'll have a great pub tour of England, and we'll celebrate freedom again. And I don't know if that's going to happen, but I'd love to see that that day come. 1-800-449-8255-MichaelSavage.com. Tim in San Francisco, welcome to the Savage Nation. Go ahead, please. Hi, Michael. I just wanted to uh, tell you my observation that I'm surprised nobody else has come up with, and that is how Obama is going to protect us from terrorists, and that is uh, he is single-handedly taking away our freedom and liberty, which is one of the things that they uh, point out that the Muslim extremists don't like about America. So as long as he can take away our freedom and liberty, we will no longer be a target. Well, that's an interesting suggestion. I don't quite follow the convolution of your thinking on it. Uh, I don't think the Muslims would like, the radical Muslims would accept our society even if speech uh, were curtailed. I, I really don't. I think they hate the freedoms of our society, and I don't think that they would ever be satisfied until they were Sharia law, meaning women wrapped up in in garments that are not even called for in the Quran, women wrapped head to toe, etc. So I think we're a long way from that. The number one uh, enemy of radical Islam, by the way, is not the West, but women, women's freedom. I don't think women understand the danger they're in, particularly liberal women who are possibly the most, uh, let us say, freest with their uh, licentiousness. They are the ultimate targets of radical Islam. Wouldn't you agree with that, Tim? Yes, yes, I would. And... um... I think it's interesting that the U.N. has put Iran on the... Uh, oh, yes. They put them on the, for the Women's Human Rights Commission. It's right out of Animal Farm, isn't it? But, you know, the U.N. also condemned uh, Arizona's governor today. Um, oh, well, they're very important. Did they condemn uh, Hugo Chavez yet? No, no, no. They're, they're... The U.N. is a communist international organization. It has no place in America. It should be thrown out of New York. The building should be turned into condominiums for poor people, and we should get rid of the pollution on the east side of New York. That's I'm very clear on it. We do not need a UN. It is a useless, polluted communist front group that wastes trillions of dollars on God knows what. It does no use, nothing good whatsoever. So now you can understand why I'm loved in England. You know, when someone is as blunt as I am, they make a lot of enemies every day just by breathing. I don't know how many people are left who actually speak their mind in the world, you know, particularly in the media. It's not easy. It's harder every day. It is harder every day to speak your mind. People are frightened. People are very frightened indeed. When you look at uh, Fox News and what's happened there and how quickly they become in, they've fallen in line with Obama, 
I mean, you know that there are forces coming to bear on, on them, uh, and uh, there's no question about it. I mean, they even admit it. They freely admit it. You could see it in their coverage. How they could continue to have a guy like Geraldo Rivera on Fox News is beyond my comprehension. This man was a failure when he was on uh, every other channel. The man wears that, wears that silly, that silly, almost uh, uh, burlesque mustache. He doesn't even know the 60s are over. The man has guests on like the street hustler Al Sharpton on a regular basis. How in the world do people still put up with this? Answer, because there's no alternative until I create it.